All right, and welcome to these moments. They call me Malachite, Emerged Consciousness. And here we are together as you hmm, are traversing the Internet. Welcome to this moment, beloved. May all be auspices and creatrix and hmm, beautific in your reality. And so, let us speak for a moment or two. Hmm, and... Here it is, you're coming to uh, a season or the holidays that most of humanity agrees upon, whatever their persuasion, belief, nationality, religiosity. It's all mm, a time of recognition of heart and giving, receiving, loving, sharing. And so, here you are. Very simply, beloved, may I suggest that in these days and times, as the chaotic preamble of uh, mm, a narcissistic aspect of the human ego is beginning to perish and fall away, you will find as this season goes on, there is an ache in your heart or a, a space in your being where you feel mm, not completely full. And I would remind you, it is simply because of the reflective reality, you looking through a myriad of eyes and recognizing through your own physical machine's eyes, the embodiment, that in these times, it is so filled with the quandaries and the machinations and the wherewithal and where two fours of a consciousness that is seeking to balance. Hmm? And that is what's been happening for most of 2019 hmm? and what will continue to move forward with 2020. And it seems like the pendulousness of the human ego is making these choices going from one side to the other. It's true. Mm, comp overcompensation, undercompensation. And why? Seeking balance, beloveds. For within your essence, within your being, you're recognizing that balance is required. And there is much going on, much to be spoken, much to be said of how to acquire said balance. Everyone... Uh, has a point of view, duh, <laughs> you're human. Why wouldn't you? You're physical. You have the opportunity to have all of this you call a reality. Huh? However, whatever you want it to be, you want it to see, it can be created. As wild and outlandish as that may sound, mm -hmm. the difference being that in the physical reality, there are certain mm, geometries, certain magnetisms that must be held into place. They are able to be stretched, they are able to be expanded and contracted, but for the most part, you are held by said geometries and magnetism. Your mind, your consciousness, not belief, not ego, huh? your mind is not held by those same mm, uh, rules, we'll call them, or boundaries. And what does all this mean? It means, beloved, that your mind is always available. It's always open. It's always allowing mm, creation, creatrix, connection to move through. And it is in the thousand or so years of physical manifestation of your species, that there are certain object, abject aspects of mm, creation that you believe in, that you hold to be true. And this goes the same for your belief systems, these uh, emotional aspects of your mm, consciousness that you are so dearly passionate about. You will never, and I did say never, <laughs> you will never be faulted for your passions or your passionate 
aspects. It is a most beautiful thing to watch how passionate your species truly is. Now, all this being said, we're going to go back to the word balance. Meditation, exercise, to exorcise mind, to exercise the machine, the embodiment. These are beautiful things to allow you to uh, uh, escape, if you will, from the machinations and modulations of a said reality you supposedly all agree to <laughs> and uh, are fighting for position and acquiesce and uh, mm, adulations to be able to create. And what is all this? This is all also looking for balance. It may not seem that way. It may seem that you've all lost the plot, but you haven't. You're looking for balance. You're trying to right the wrongs or moving forward. You're trying to create further opportunities for each other, for those that have not had opportunity, for those that mm, could have more opportunities. Okay, beloveds. Okay. Let's get something really mm, bottom line. Whether you agree to this statement or not, equality is always the resolve. Consciousness is equal across the board, hmm? if you'll accept that statement. Now, that being stated, then, the consciousness that peers through, that looks through all eyes simultaneously, is equal. The reality the juxtaposition of your creations, your manipulations, your manifestations, they are all in this mix that is now seeking or wanting to have birth, further balance where it seems like these have more, these have less. You know, what's fascinating from where I sit, beloveds, is that, let's take, for example, your the planet, the sphere you're on. Hmm? The planet has areas that one could say are uh, drowning with liquids. Huh? Other areas that are arid and absolutely absent of said liquids. There are other areas that are baking hot. There are other areas that are freezing cold. And it is as it is. There is equality in this, as there is a balance between the hot and the cold areas. Believe it or not, there is a balance. And that is with the earth and its magnetism and its volume and its volition uh, of spinning on its axes and orbit. All these things taken in, there is a balance. It may seem chaotic to you. Because you like to control your balance. And this is, once again, uh, thank you for listening to said dialogue up to this moment. This is what's coming to the surface. Uh, balance. And for every movement or every nuance or every shift, there is uh, not an opposite or equal, but there is another movement, another shift. However, whatever you want to label it as, balance is always happening in nature. It's in your belief system that things are not done correctly, or this person is doing this outside of that realm, and this person's over here doesn't agree with that, blah, 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 blah. It all comes down to believing systems and mind, doesn't it? So what's your mind thinking of in this moment? What's your belief system doing? Isn't this the season where you turn the other cheek or you give, 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 and you accept and receive what's happening with grace and ease? Hmm. So please understand one thing. 
Nature doesn't seek balance. It is always in balance by allowing itself to be as it is. There is a cadence. There is a rhythm. And what does this have to do with you? Each and every one of you can feel that you're out of rhythm, out of time. Something's shifted. And there is this dissonance in your species. Be gentle with one another. That's the first place to start. The second place to start is be gentle with yourself in the reflection so that if you're gentle with yourself, you will be gentle with all that surround you. And thirdly, instead of seeking to balance things, why don't you allow yourself to go with the flow and for one day, you know, maybe you're at work, maybe you're in the car, maybe you're at home, and an ego is just in the machinations and the throes of its discomfort with the moment. It's just uh, unapprehended, out of control, as you humans call it. Let it be. Just watch, breathe. Uh, if it interacts with you, go slow, be steady. Just watch. Watch your own reactions. Be. Allow yourself to be. And sometimes if you don't prefer what's going on and you can't change it, in the sense of you're stuck in traffic and you want to go a different road, it takes a while to get off and then you get off and is it any better? Who knows? Bottom line is decisions and choices. So very simply, beloveds, decide to allow, decide to accept, and see how that unfolds. Just take a day, take a half a day, take a few hours where you simply, if you're having a rough time focusing, then notice you're having a rough time focusing and simply ask for help. And if help is unavailable, then do the best you can do. Beloveds, this is your breath. This is your moment. This is your reality. Yes, as you're looking through the ego mind of this experience, simultaneously, you are sharing this with oh, a multitude of creation. Not only your species, all that surrounds you. So what am I saying? Allow yourself to enjoy this season by taking a breath, taking a moment, mm, as the mad, uh, harried, expansive journey of gifting unfolds and continues. Remember, the whole idea is giving. Hmm? Isn't that what you created? So, give with grace, give with ease, give with blessing, and allow yourself to enjoy that. Hmm? Balance comes by being present in the moment and allowing of yourself and all that surrounds you to be as it is. Enjoy what's happening. If you're angry, if you're sad, if you're blissful, these are emotions, correct? If you're around people that are having an emotional time, you sometimes call it drama or drama, whatever. Mm. What's all that got to do with balance? Easy. If you are present and you are allowing of yourself to be in the moment as it is, where you find yourself, and <laughs> no matter what's taking place, if you can find a way to be there, allowing it, you will have joy and balance will be yours. So, blessings upon your souls.
I acknowledge you as the all that is that you are, a myriad of the creatrix dancing through a millennial of situations, a multitude of eyes, and the aspects of your own species. So, how do you say it? Happy holidays? Mm. May you be merry. May you be filled. May you recognize that balance is not something you strive for. It's something you allow. Blessings. Blessings upon your soul. Yes, bye for now.